Well, hello, I'm James Bell here in the frozen fast lane. You see what I do for you? I stand here in Milford and I freeze to make sure you know what this company's up to. Today, it's all about potholes. So obviously, this has been a nasty winter. Potholes have been a big problem. So we thought we'd come out to Milford and find out just exactly how intense the testing is to make sure that the pothole that you go through has the least amount of damage. The whole point of this place is to basically put a vehicle through 10 years of consumer wear and tear in the space of six months. And the way they do that is running the vehicle through all sorts of extreme tests. Oh. We've got a whole different series of, of depths and extremities on these. Here's another. And again, the premise being that if the vehicle can run through this over and over and over again, and meet GM standards, then it's got no problem at all of meeting the consumers. We all know this has been a nasty winter and potholes have been a big problem, but there are three things you can do to protect yourself and your car. First off is tire pressure. Make sure they are inflated correctly and you know that number by looking at the sticker in the door jam. Secondly is standing water. Don't trust that it's over smooth pavement. There might be hiding a big pothole underneath. And lastly, give yourself some distance. Make sure you have distance and opportunity to avoid it. If you hit a pothole, a couple things you need to do. If you see that tire pressure light come on, you might have a problem. Also a great idea to get out of the car and actually have a look at the wheel that hit the pothole. If you see any bulging in the sidewall, any damage to the wheel itself, you might be having a big problem. And lastly, be very in tune with your vehicle. If, as you're driving it, if you feel something's not quite right, the braking, the turning, the handling, something's not right, get yourself into a dealer right away and have it checked out.